Hello guys, welcome back to Trader Life Simulator. It's raining again. I'm trying to run to my car, but I can't because I'm hungry. And patch 1.5, it's a 1.5, 1.9 is here, which brings the farm. Do I have enough money to buy the farm? Of course not. A couple things I need to do first though, before we go open the store, because I do have some food in the store that's gonna be required to be refrigerated, meaning yogurt and eggs now. I have yogurt and eggs. I don't have a refrigerator, so we're going to go buy that stuff first before we open the store. Oop, oh, car handles a little bit different. 7 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to come over here to the store to buy a refrigerator. So put some of that stuff in. And while we're over here, probably take a quick look at the refrigerator. Uh, not the refrigerator, but the farm as well. Here is the farm, apparently. Over here, if I go to the map, uh, that should be the farm right there. Let's not run into things. Kind of almost did. Uh, the braking should be improved on the car. I have not tested anything. I just uploaded the uh, new update and got into it. Uh, so here we are. So, yeah, I'm up to $2,000 in our bank account. I got a little bit of money in the bank. Some in the credit card as well. I was doing rather well in money, but then the car needed gas, needed to be repaired, needed the oil to be changed. That cost a lot of cash. A lot of cash. So we're coming here and buy just one refrigerator for now. And I think we're just going ahead and buy one of these, I don't want to say cheaper ones, but one of these. I'm going to go ahead and just put up against the wall. I thought about buying one with refrigerator on both sides, but uh, yeah, money. Is this a, a refrigerator or just a shelf? I think this is just a shelf, right? Just a shelf. It says fridge two. Can be used to save products required. To... But that is $1,700. I don't want to spend that much cash yet. Um, or do I? Don't I? Oh, boy. Choices. Choices. That can store a lot of stuff, though. That can store a lot of stuff. He bought it. <laughs> yeah, probably spent too much cash there, but we bought it. That should almost store everything that I possibly could buy at the the whole house uh, Jabars, Jabars. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Also, his shop, his prices are going to change daily. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I really need to go eat because... Oh, uh, worker fees and loan payment. I think... The loan payment. The loan payment might be paid off today. That might be the last time I had to make a $50 loan payment. Unless I go take out another loan. Which is always possible with me. So let's go ahead on down here. First thing I'll do is grab something to eat because... In the patch notes updates, when I went over it a couple days days ago, I don't remember talking about, so I don't know if they added this, but apparently we can get sick now. So um, if your urine, dirtiness, and hunger get above 75, there's a chance you can get sick. Uh, that's not good. So uh, I am hungry. Also, they made price changes to, and also food changes to the food. So when I come down to the food cart, I think it used to be $65, and it used to replenish my hunger completely. Will it do it today? I don't know. And by the way, I rolled my truck over twice coming around that corner, so i got to be kind of careful about that. Um, it, the car does right itself over again, but I'm wondering, uh, does it damage it more? So how much are you going to charge me for food? Hopefully not a lot. Fifteen. All right, so it only replenishes some of my hungry. Hungry? Hunger? Let's go ahead and let's get rid of all of it. Let's get rid of all of it. Leave me with 284. All right, so how quick do I have to be with the yogurt and the egg? They're already spoiled. They're already spoiled. All the yogurt and eggs I had, so running down here to get it, this in here did nothing for me. All right, so large fridge. Uh, let's go ahead and place this down. Ooh, uh, not in my face like that. Why is it? Uh, oh, there we go. That's better. Uh, let's put it just... Um, it's too big to put in those walls, so yeah, it's going to have to go down here. It's going to have to go over here. Hopefully, I can place this so it looks kind of good. Boy, it's really hard to see, isn't it? That looks like it's in the wall a little bit. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. Well, yeah, rotten food. Uh, let's go ahead and dispose of it. So I, I had a whole bunch of yogurt and eggs here. I was hoping to give me some time to come in and take care of it, but I guess not. So running to the store and buying the fridge first, uh, not really necessary. So we got a star in the upper left-hand corner. That's our, our rating right now. 
So I got $284, uh, and I don't have some of the food. Uh, I got a good amount of all the other food, and we're going to go ahead and keep it there. I got a good storage on some stuff. Uh, the other thing I'm going to come in here for is, uh, let's go to our computer, because we should be able to change supermarket name, auto open store at 7 a.m. Yeah, let's go ahead and check that. I'm not going to do this one auto close. Auto pay electric bills. We'll go ahead and do that, because running out of electricity, it's probably not going to be good for the fridge. I don't know if, the, if we lose electricity now. If the fridge will actually shut up because I didn't have the fridge before to test it. So there you have it. Um, so yeah, we got all that all set. We're all set here. And nothing else I can buy because I only got $284 to our name. So now we go to fridge. We got a lot of stuff we can go buy, but I don't have the cash. I'm going to run across the street. I do have $150 in the credit card, so that should pay the electric bill. I can't remember the last time I paid it, so hopefully it's fine. Uh, loan. Hey, I don't have no more loans, so we're going to keep it that way. It's kind of tempting to go ahead and, you know, borrow another thousand dollars and just be done with it. But, uh, yeah. So, the other things I had to spend, um, I had to buy a phone because I had to repair the, the truck, the car that we're in. So, when I was riding around, I was going by the fuel gauge in the car. Don't do that. That does not actually work. Um, I went to get in the car one morning, come to work, or open the store, and guess what? There was no gas in the car, even though the fuel gauge says uh, otherwise. So... I had to go buy a phone for like, it was like $150 for the phone so I could refuel. And then of course it needed oil, so I had to go buy oil for the car. So probably overall I spent maybe like $1,200 to get a phone, oil, fuel, and repair this car to 100%, which is not no longer 100%. Uh, he's got more trucks out here now than before. Uh, the brakes do work better, a lot better. Hmm. Um, why can't I run? So my guy, the car, I can't run right, right away. So where where are we here? Where where is the? Did you put them over here now? Yes, they're over here now. All right, so we need eggs. Ooh, it says high price. High price. So I, well, I bought eggs at a high price. Okay, so maybe we got to watch out for that. So I, I'm hoping the food stays good while it's inside the box, I would assume. All right, um, high price, good price. Okay, so we'll, we'll buy stuff that's good price for today because we don't have enough. Oh, wow. I'm spending cash very, very fast. All right, everyone asked for chocolate milk. That's a good price. Um, normal price is 50, current price is 44. Okay, so on the bottom left-hand corner, I'll show you again in case you didn't happen to see it. That's kind of new. So we'll go to the chocolate milk. It's large chocolate milk. No price is 75. Current price is 79. That's not too bad. What about the pizza? Can I have normal price is 33. Current price is 29. That's about all we can afford to buy today. Because I went and spent all the money on the fridge. So I don't see a sick meter. So the bottom right hand corner when I get out of the car is showing me a, a meter. I think that's my stamina. I think that's what it is uh, for running around. Now, it was in the game before, but we didn't have a stamina bar to see what the heck was going on. So, I'll see if I can get used to driving this car around and get used to the brakes. It seems like uh, it, it can spin out maybe a little bit easier. I'm not too sure. I should stop and get some gas, but I can check to see how much gas we got in the truck. Well, first things first. I want to get some of this stuff inside the store. So a long ways away now from buying the farm. Sounds weird when I say it like that. I'm going to buy the farm. All right. Uh, chocolate milk small. So let's come back here. Can I stack things on the top shelf without using... I have to use a ladder for that. Uh, holy cow is the name of this. All right. It's a weird looking fridge though, I will say that. But now getting more material inside the store, meaning I won't have customers coming in and saying, hey, you don't have milk, you don't have this, you don't have that, which right now we don't still have a lot of the stuff, but we're starting up. But man, I was really hoping that the yogurt and the eggs were would have lasted just a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, we just came right in the store and it's like, nope can't do that 
All right, we'll put some eggs. Oddly enough, I think it says Easter eggs on the eggs. And I'm recording this as, as the update was released on Easter. Is there, can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. That I know of. Hang on. Oh, I can crouch. All right. Control crouches. I did not know that. But when I crouch, I still can't stack the eggs on top of that. All right. So I'm not going to bother crouching. So the one thing I don't want to find out is if my electric bill doesn't get paid in time, how long do I got before all the food spoils inside the refrigerator? All right, so the eggs we had before, but now they need to be refrigerated. Pizza. Yes, everyone asked for pizza. So there's my stamina bar in the bottom right-hand corner. You can see it going up and down. Let's go ahead and put the pizza in like this. So roughly, I would say the store was making somewhere around fifteen to $1,800 a day. But now with more material in here, hopefully every customer that comes in will have some things for them. Nice to see my store rating going up. Am I going to be able to get all 10 in there? I'm not really stacking them close together though, am I? Now that I got some proper shelving in here, I'm going to start, you know, making it look a little bit better around here. Ice cream. Ice cream, you all scream. We all scream for ice cream. Uh, let's go ahead and put the ice cream down there. Because cold air drops. Hey, someone bought a pizza. I saw it disappear. So the prices changing at the shop are kind of interesting. I have to keep our eye out for that. But I guess if you were to run out and you really need it, I mean, uh... You know, you really need it, I guess. All right, so how much cash you guys got on you? Ooh, we got seven. No, 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 I got the auto. Thank you. I was already saying, don't tell me. <laughs> Pay the bill. Let me go ahead and save the game. Change supermarket uh, name. I, I, I got to think about that for a minute, little minute here. Uh, we already hired a second cashier. Uh, buy the farm for 3500 Sunglasses, vending, sandwich stand espresso newspaper stand all that stuff was here before but now we got more cash so let's go ahead and i'll just yeah i know i just saved the game let's go ahead and do that um i really need to stock the shelf of the refrigerator stuff so let me come back up to the car let me go ahead to the nope uh i don't want to do any of that uh where's oh the e-button so i'm up to 84 percent gas oil and repairs are fine uh the one thing i want to do just so we make sure we have it in here in my credit card at all times is come into the bank. Uh, this is this is a kind of rough process. Let me go ahead and take um, two hundred fifty dollars out and transfer that into the bank. And then from the bank to the credit card, we gotta transfer one hundred fifty. No, I said one hundred fifty and transfer. It. So with no more loan payment, $50, I'll cover my workers for tomorrow and the electric bill in case uh, we need it whenever. All right, uh, we're going to have some of that stuff here shortly. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Let's back it up. Head back to the shop and hopefully there's some good pricing on some other stuff. So at the end of the last episode, yeah, we, we hired a second cashier and we spent a lot of my cash and... In order to do so, um, it left me with not much stuff in the store. We, we, we had a lot of stuff, but not quantity-wise. So I spent about a day or so restocking the store slowly. And then, like I said, I was doing pretty good on the money. And then this thing, this vehicle right here, needed repair, oil, gas. Uh, the gas seemed rather expensive. I don't know if because I ran out and I paid through it by the phone instead of stopping at the gas station. Or what? Uh, brakes, 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 brakes. All right, brakes, I think, still need us a little bit more of a touch-up. All right, so large chocolate milk. Uh, normal price is 75 Current price is 79 And it says the price is high, which is interesting. Uh, high price, high price, 
high price, high price, good price. All right, we'll stack this up here. Um, waffles, high price, high price, everything's high price. Dude, you're kind of screwing me over there. Uh, maybe I should check to see what else is going on um, that I might need. Uh, I didn't really look at the regular... Oh, I know I'm low on, on this stuff. Good price. The nuts. Gotta have nuts around. Of course, that's the obvious thing. Uh, can we stand on the car correctly, please? Oh, it's already 6 o'clock in the evening, but I did spend some time this morning running around buying a refrigerator, getting all that stuff kind of set. Um, right now, let's just go ahead and... Yeah, let's just... Yeah, um, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I mean, high price, we're talking $4 more over the normal price. Just that I, I, I want the more stuff inside the store. Alright, uh, let me stop the car for a second. I want to look at the map. I, said, I can't look at the map while I'm inside the car. Alright, so the map. Uh, so I come out, we turn left. So the two new things, obviously, is the quote-unquote animal trader, which is here. And the... Uh, no, wait. this is the farm. Sorry, the animal farm is up here where we kind of went. And the animal trader is down here. We're going to try to go around that way. So we can kind of have a quick look at it. Now let's jump back into the car. Um, I should be able to turn off... I think there's an option now you can turn off rain. But I'm going to leave it on for now. Although it does seem to rain still quite often. But I think I read in the patch notes to where the chance of rain is supposed to be decreased. But now with the store opening automatically at... Wait, is this the farm? This is the farm. Or the trader, sorry. This is the trader. Uh, so I can't talk to the animal trader, apparently. My guess is I have to own the farm before I can talk to him. And the one thing I wonder is, if I come... I didn't come over to here before, the car mechanic... I wonder if it's cheaper to get it fixed at the car mechanic than fixing it by the phone. Oh, I haven't had really had a look at the, the NPCs yet to see if they, quote unquote, walk around better, act differently. Um, after playing Bakery Shop Simulator, I kind of wish they would use the NPCs from there because they look a little bit more normal, I guess. This is what I want to use as a term. All right, large milk. Ooh, uh, these are going to take up a lot of space. So if I leave them inside the box, they're fine, right? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you guys are telling me? Uh, you know what? I'll put them all out just for now. So I better make sure I always have money in the credit card to pay the electric bill. And from what you guys said, the electric bill does not uh, go up higher when you have a refrigerator. I have no idea what I just grabbed. Uh, cashews. All right, that's not refrigerator. They need to go up here. Yep, we're out of cashews. So now that we got ourselves a refrigerator... Slowly stock it up, and that way, we'll hopefully, when we have everything in the store, customers won't be coming in and not buying something sometimes. I still got all the equipment we can buy for outside. But you know me, I, I got, I'm going to be so interested in buying the farm. Probably going to go ahead and do something with that as soon as we can. Why won't you... All right, you want to go there? I was able to stack it three deep on the other side, but here, no, apparently not. And finally, uh, meat sticks. I don't know what you want to call them, but they call it anod oil or whatever they call it. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, oh, you're going to lay down that way. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Can I stack these? Maybe I can't because it's too far back on that row, maybe? No, you can't stack those. All right, no problem. 
No problem. So it feels good not having a loan anymore. Not that I was paying interest on it. So, I mean, if I really need $1,000 or whatever. Ooh, look at the store rating. It is up there. All right. So how are we doing on other things here? Getting kind of low on tea. I was like, something's missing there. That's usually where the eggs and yogurt go. Uh, so everything else, like I said, I was making sure the store was pretty well stocked before I went and bought the refrigerator. I wasn't expecting to buy the big refrigerator, but I thought, you know what? Why buy two of them and then try to stack them all on there? Um, that would work pretty darn well here. Uh, for canned goods, we're doing okay. Some corn and some peas would be kind of good. Yeah, I'm starting getting regular shelving in here. Also, to get stuff off the floor, kind of make it look more like a store, like it should. And we're doing some, we're doing okay there as well. All right, um, change supermarket's name. Oh, uh, supermarket color sign color. Uh, did it go to green? All right. So how about uh, peanuts produce? I have no idea. And we'll save game and then go done. It's night. No customers will come now. That seemed like a quick day. That seemed like a quick day. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Not too bad if I do say so myself. So no more customers. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, before I do, let's go to the, the computer first. We were just there. How much do we, how do we do for today for business? 1501, that's about average so far. So hopefully by having... Uh, more stuff inside the refrigerator that will work out well maybe get more customers our store store uh, stores i'm trying to say store and star rating at the same time uh, is pretty darn good let's go ahead and save and let's go done and we'll take the rest of the cash out of the register 800 even uh perfect i guess uh leave the door open as far as i can tell no one still steals and head back home uh, tomorrow if we get a chance i will we'll go to the car dealer because there is now a sports car in the game as well um is it a ferrari or a corvette might be a corvette i can't i don't know uh, i saw the picture i couldn't quite tell i'm not really a car guy so i'm probably gonna get it wrong and a whole bunch of people car people correct me i'm for sure they will 11.29 there we should be able to buy the rest of the stuff that's inside the refrigerator even if the prices are high how are the brakes on this thing? The brakes are still... They are better. Um, a lot better. I like to see still a bit of improvement. That's just uh, what I'm used to. All right, so I don't quote want to... Quote, unquote, want to get sick. So I, I do this all the time anyways, which is use the facilities and then give myself a bath. And then... Oh, I got myself a new bed. All right, um, can we just, oh, sorry, I went to add the inventory and hit sleep. I kind of want to rotate it around, but that's fine. Remember to check your gas status status every day. Yeah, just don't use the gas meter because that does not work. The shop is open. Gotta love that. So I don't even have to even go to the shop anymore, first thing. At least I don't think so. Is it going to work? Am I going to start seeing things being sold here? There we go. And it's not raining. Uh, hooray. Let's stop at the gas station and we'll top this off with some gas. So I got the $100 to pay the workers for today and $150 on the credit card for to pay the electric bill if I need to. And stop here and we come over here and yes, $66 to refill on fuel. I mean, it is what it is. All right, since we got some time on our hands, in a way, it's kind of cool. I don't have to go to the store now to open it. I mean, you would think before the workers show up, I'm like, can't they unlock it? I mean, they're going in the store to begin with. Uh, let's see here. Now that's not raining, we're going to go to the car dealership, I guess we can call it here. A whole bunch of cuckoos uh, around here, it sounds like. Um, where is it? Over here. Sports car. You don't own this vehicle. I'm like, uh, it says drive. Um, 
Probably the next one I might, you know, I don't know if I even need the box truck. I can put so many boxes on top of that. It's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and interact with him. Uh, I don't really want to buy it. So I'm not going to click on it because I don't know what happens if I click on it. Is it going to show me the price or is it going to... Oh, 45000 All right. Uh, the scooter is 500 The truck is 2500 The pickup truck is 15 Okay. So it does... I was like, don't you dare make me buy it when I really don't want to. Um, but there is the sports car. I want to say that's more of a Ferrari type of vehicle, not a Corvette. Uh, no yogurt. All right. So we need to go... We need to go buy some stuff. Now that we got a little bit of cash. But the way the money's rolling in... Oh, there's actually a stoplight there for uh, pedestrians or traffic. I have no idea. No cupcake. We'll see what the pricing is today. But from what I saw, the pricing isn't that much different. It is, but... Um, you know, when I said high, I was thinking it's like $10, $20 high. And it was like, what, $5 over what high is. Let me out. All right, so we have frozen pizza. Uh, good price for the seafood. All right, so there we go. We just paid our workers. So, okay, we got some seafood. Uh, the burgers, good price. We don't have burgers. Now it's going to take me like three or four days to keep things stocked. Waffles are high. Yogurt is high. How about meat? Um, good price for this regular milk. No milk. <laughs> I just bought it. Uh, what about these? Uh, this is... It says Sugar Kiss. I'm not sure. Are these the cupcakes? Yeah, cupcakes right there. Okay. Um, high price. High price. Uh, good price. Uh, might as well go ahead and buy those. You know what? These can go on the hood. Uh, I think we're low on tea, but that's a high price. Good price. Soda is something I do sell a lot of. Cupcakes. I'm coming with your flipping cupcakes. Uh, okay, so, hmm, you know what? If the price is good, high price, high price. I can't help it. You see, you just see a good price and you want to go ahead and buy it. Uh, I think a, a corn? Was it corn and what else? Uh, hmm. Was it peas? It might have been peas. Now, someone said I could stack it three high on the car. I've stacked it three high, and the boxes, uh, the three high boxes do not, like, stay in there. Um, are we good here? Good price on that. Good price on that. I'm not really sure I know how we're doing on the fruit. So... Try to buy it when the price is good, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some stock inventory when I get back for sure. I think I was getting kind of low on those. And Let's put these in the back. All right, I got enough stuff here. Let's go ahead and get this, some of the stuff on the shelf. Because some of the stuff we don't have. And we're probably getting some customers going in and out. So I have to see if we can get time to, maybe after we stock this stuff up, maybe actually go look at the farm itself. Now I'm guessing once I have the farm, I go to the animal dealer to get some animals. And then hopefully uh, put them into the farm. I'm pretty sure I got to feed the animals. So it's not just like buy the farm for $3,500. i am going to have to buy animals and then probably buy feed and like a water trough or something like that. Hope there's no one crossing the street in front of me because I can't really see where I'm going. All right, so the oranges can go out here. I can see I got oranges there. Apples can go there. Peas. All right, looks like no one's bought peas, so don't think it's get stocking on those right away. Put that down there. Burgers. We don't have burgers. Let's get those in the fridge. Can 
Can I stack them too high? Oh, yes, we can. Probably should put them facing me so customers can see them, but today they're going in... Well, they're going in this way. How about that? Most people like to read the nutrition value anyways, right? Right? Yeah, right. Who cares? Uh, you know, I'll put a couple in... Oh, wow, these are... Put them in this way. They look long. There we go. Uh, I got more... This is just regular milk. Um, yeah, let's just try to get in there. I got the box right where I need to stand, really. Just keep bringing up those uh, customers, please. One thing I think we're going to start doing is, because I did in Bakery Shop Simulator, is start buying the stuff to where um, I don't have to stock it up. What I'm thinking about it, let's come over here. Uh, newspaper stand. Done. He bought it for 150 bucks. I believe they sell for $5 a piece. So, you know, little by little, little by little, we'll sell those and get our money back on it and then start making money from it. Got to sell a lot of newspapers though, but you know what? It's there. It's not like someone's actually come in and said, I need a newspaper. But it's not like they come and say, I need a sandwich. We don't have the sandwich maker either. I right, got enough for this for stock for a while. So let me know for you, that, for those of you out there who have the refrigerator. And um, if your electricity ran out and you didn't pay the bill, do you lose all the food inside the fridge? Because that would suck big time. Better go back out here and see what I bought that I don't have. Cola. Yeah, I do got cola and the cola goes up front. But I may start... Yeah, wait, why, why would I put that in the fridge? It doesn't need to be refrigerated, but it should be. Seafood. Let's get that on the shelf. All right, we'll try to stack it the way it should be stacked. These take up a lot of space. And I know I could leave the stuff in the box. It'd be fine, but I'd like to get it all out there. I know, you know, I'm not going to use my storage room. Let's be honest. I'm probably not going to use that at all. Uh, come on, I'm clicking. Okay, thank you. All right, this is sweet corn. Was I right on the sweet corn? Sweet corn and peas, yep. Let me go ahead and just put that there. We'll stack those in a minute. That is cupcakes. Cupcakes we don't have on the shelf yet. Kind of weird I can stack it way in the corner. Can I double stack? Oh, yes we can. Feels good to get some of this stuff in the store now. So with the loan paid off, that pretty much tells me I probably, we're like on like maybe day 22. So obviously we took out the $1,000 loan. We may have even taken out on day one. And you pay $50 off a day, that's 20 days to pay off the loan. So yeah, we're like on day 21, 22, something like that. And we finally got ourselves a fridge. Getting everything into the store. Uh, this is just milk. I shouldn't say just milk because milk does the body good. If 
It also feels good to actually <laughs> get some proper shelving in here and actually put stuff on a shelf. But I'll be honest, for the other material that we have, probably going to stay on the floor for a bit because I really would like to get into the farming side of it a little bit. Alright, I'm getting a little hungry. Let me come over here and spend some cash. There we go. Fill up on some food. Oops. Need to get the other box, which has... Burgers. And if it all works out, I don't know if the refrigerator actually need to be plugged in, but there was an outlet right behind this wall, but I don't think they do. I mean, they do, but I don't know if the game matters if it needs to be plugged in or not. So it looks like my star rating, there's not like multiple stars. The bar you got is the bar you got, so it's not like additional bars. So we're getting a good star rating, which I don't know what that really does for us currently, uh, other than we have a good rating. Um, it's not like they're going to pay more for what we have. I do need to put some cash back into the bank so I can pay the workers. If I don't pay the workers, do they not work at all, or do they leave and I have to rehire some back and I have to pay for his cashiers again? All these questions. Questions I would like to have answers for you for, but I don't want to test it out either, so... All right, so I put the toothpaste over here. We got good amount of jam, sauce, chocolate, a newspaper stand. Wow, I went through all that shampoo in like two days. Um, so I know someone said don't get like the chip holder because it only holds like about two chips. I may not get it for the chips, but I may get it for like the, um, what is that, the snacks and maybe put flour and stuff like that in it. Maybe, maybe. Now let me go out here and we'll stack this because um, right now I, got, I don't want to say I got nothing else to do. So there are some few items that we still don't have, but you know, we're gaining on it. We are gaining on it. So I'm hoping, I don't think the sales that we'll have will get us over 2,000 in a day. It'd be kind of nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. Can I stack? I saw you flicker back there. No, that's the front one. Thank you. But the NPCs in Baker Shop Simulator are so much, um, I'm just going to say better. Uh, that's all I can say about that. They don't, they don't look, I don't want to say, the, yeah, these guys kind of look, sometimes they look a little creepy. And it's too bad they haven't added female characters yet. So they're always like, um, looks like they've been running like a marathon or something. They're always breathing heavy. I was still hoping that from the laptop we can transfer money, but I don't think that's a thing yet. Alright, I do want to go look at the farm here while it's daylight, but how are we doing here? Sales are at, uh, well, we'll just say 1200 Let's go ahead and save the game. So the store will auto open at seven. I don't want the store to auto close when out of stock. Does it mean out of stock of everything? Which I would think that's what it means. Or will this go? I mean, if I'm out of stock out of one item, will it just like go, you know, close then? 
Auto pay electric bill, we want that on, of course. And yeah, we're done here. Let's come over here and grab some cash. Man, we're almost out of cookies again. I'm almost out of cleaning spray, coffee. Wow, the shop is uh, selling a lot today, it seems like. All right, so what I want to do is obviously come over here and we're going to transfer, uh, let's see, 150. Let's transfer 450. And I'm going to transfer another 150 into my credit card. So this should cover my workers for three days and this should be good for a couple electric uh, bills. So we are good there. No, I don't want to take out a loan. Oh, I still got a box in the back of the truck. What do I got in the back of the, or the SUV here? A wheat biscuit. I'll put that on the floor because we still got uh, enough of that. But man, I got to get back to stocking up the shelves up with some of this stuff like uh, coffee, some strawberry biscuit, uh, some regular cookies. Cleaning spray. I'm out of tea. Fabric software I'm almost out of. Ah, round chips we're almost out of. Rice I'm almost out of. Oh, man. All right, so a box truck may not be a bad idea at some point. So what I'll probably do is... Uh, Jamar's shop never closes as far as I, I know of. So I'll probably go there after we go visit the, the farm. Just go have another quick look at the farm. Hey, I sold the newspaper for five bucks. See, I'll get my money back in that newspaper stand. And I don't have to restock it, so that'll slowly bring in cash like the juice and coffee machine do. Apples sold for ten. Yep, sell those apples, please. Get on out. Uh, stop the car. Get on out. Not really sure what this stuff is. Can't see where you can open and close the gate. Uh, but I guess this is the farm for sure. Oh, well, I got a couple fields here. Or fenced in areas. Actually, we got like three fenced in areas. I'm out of stamina. No waffles. Ah. <sighs> All right. So this is the farm. So I got to save enough cash to get the farm. But then it's going to take a while to load up with some other stuff, I'm sure. All right. Time to go buy some more material. That $906 I have is going to go out the window pretty darn quick. It's kind of tempting to go over to the furniture shop and maybe buy some shelving for our other food. But right now... Just want to make sure the store has stock in it, and uh, yeah, we'll slowly gain some cash. Stop, 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 stop. All right, probably the price is high and everything. But I'm out of tea. All right, so how are we doing on chips? Good price, all right. So we'll buy a couple of those. I know we're running low on this. That's a high price. Of course, it's fabric softener. Good price. All right, so we'll buy. I think I'll start buying a couple of boxes at a time if the price is good. Why can't you? Thank you. Always when you think you're doing good on money in this game, then you start buying stuff and you realize... Yeah, it's getting a little rough. Uh, shampoo, good price. Um, that's a high price. I said it was low on waffles. Did I not buy waffles? No, they're a high price. How high are they? Current price is 40 out of 33. That is getting a little high. Yogurt, 195 out of 180. 587 out of 500 so yeah keep an eye i mean the price may be high but it might be higher than the normal price but it could be like a dollar or it could be quite a bit so just be careful of that 
just be careful of that. And we got I need to get in the cakes at some point, but man, those are normal price five ninety, current price five oh seven. I had no place to put the cake, but that'd be kind of interesting to see, wouldn't it? I got more stuff to buy. Uh, what's the rice doing here? Rice is a good price. So I'll buy a couple of those. High price. You're gonna be high price and everything, aren't you? Uh, good price. Yeah, we're, I almost forgot we're low on cookies. So I'll buy a couple of those. When I said high price, yeah, so normal price is 33, current price is 34. That's fine. Uh, coffee, let's go ahead and buy some coffee. High price, good price. Ooh, normal price is 80, current price is 62. I like this variable pricing because now I can make more of a profit if I buy at the right time. Uh, what's the watermelon? High price. Yes, it is a high price. Um, cucumbers. And what are bananas doing? Bananas are kind of high. Buy a couple of those. Good on that. High price. Good price. I've never bought this much stuff before at once, I think. Alright, I think I think I'm gonna call that good for today. <laughs> and then it just keeps on buying. Oh man, gotta love it. Just keep on buying. Can I buy any cakes? I, I don't think so at this point. 507. Are they all the same price? Are the cakes all the same, actually? So it's just a different style. And you know what? We'll get some of those as well. So the good news is... Uh, you're not going to let me place that in there, are you? Because I got boxes above. Nope, nope. I, I, you saw it. There we go. Um, the good news is, we're all set on the workers for a couple of days. See, I don't see no floating boxes anywhere, so we're all set. So I'm, I'm all set for the workers for a couple days. I'm all set also on the electric bill for a couple days. And I also got $348 in my wallet, which is good. Let's go back to the store. So I can empty out the cash register and see exactly how much cash we got. So I own a phone, we own a laptop, we changed the uh, name on the store, got ourselves a fridge, got ourselves a whole bunch of produce to put back in the store. Our store rating is through the roof. Bought ourselves a newspaper stand as well. And we are doing wonderful. Another $410 that we sold. How would you on business today actually Hopefully it's better. 1629, so I still have not really Yeah. Hasn't pushed it over just as of yet. But you know what? Little by little. So we own a newspaper stand, juice machine, coffee machine. I think a sandwich stand would not be a bad thing to have for six fifty. Um people will be buying sandwiches because who doesn't like a sandwich? Honestly. Go ahead and save the game. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right back here in Trader Life Simulator in patch 1.9. But until then, have a good one.